go ahead and do all the work for me. Yeah, there we go. All right. I forgot to show you. Come on. It's all packed up. Hey guys, so I'd like to apologize before the video starts about all the shakiness you're about to see. I just bought a brand new camera and before I went to the show, I forgot to turn on stabilization and it's going to be shaky the whole time. Well, with the exception of the time lapses, you'll see. But anyway, we'll see that and we'll go ahead and get the video started and I'll see y'all later. Good morning, everyone. So this weekend, I have an insanely busy weekend right now. Um, I'm heading to a two-day show, two-day festival, whatever you want to call it, but it's officially called the Scott Family Farm Holiday Market. Um, the Scott Family Farm mainly sells, you know, Christmas trees and honey, but this time every year they go and have just a big old festival. I think it's 130 vendors. Normally it's about 5,000 people show up and just enjoy it. There's all kinds of festivities. Santa Claus is there, food, everything. It's just an open air festival, open air market. And so I'm heading there today. Right now I'm gonna go pick up the U-Haul that will carry all my gear, all my equipment, my tents, my you know walking sticks and everything else in between. It's gonna be carrying all that and I'm gonna go pick that up now. I'm gonna head home, load up, and then I'm gonna meet my sister who's gonna be helping me, tremendously helping me. Um, today tomorrow and sunday uh, we'll be heading back home sunday and it's gonna be a long tiring weekend but i'm gonna bring my rain jacket I'm gonna bring my shoes and we're gonna have a good time i'll see y'all later haul now you see it here there's the u-haul there's my truck we're hooked up we're hitched up ready to go load up the truck now i'll see y'all at the house Don't you love it whenever you get on the road and you think you have everything then all of a sudden you forget some food that you brought or that you didn't bring that you forgot to bring so uh, I'm rounding about to the house right now so I can pick it up and my wife can bring it to the road and there's my house for the weekend see that beautiful beautiful camper out there there it is the house for the weekend my sister towing it let me go say hey here at the campground it's Magnolia Springs State Park it's just 20 minutes away from the festival not too bad um, so we're gonna go set up camp real quick and uh, you can probably see my sister behind me in the camper she's right there with me I don't know if I was driving too slow for her but whatever my wife says I drive like a grandma so we just parked it up uh, it's my house for the evening so we'll see how it goes I'm gonna go check in at the campground and we'll see what's going on at Magnolia Springs. I haven't been here in years. Hopefully we'll have time and we don't get rained out. We'll be able to explore a little bit. Well, the camper has been set up and we are riding out. You ready to go set up? Oh yeah. Oh boy. Man, we gotta go grocery shopping afterwards. See y'all later. Trailer is open. You can go ahead and do all the work for me. Yeah, there we go. All right. You can probably barely see me, but I got the tent set up. It's not time, and we need to go shopping, grocery shopping right now. You can see the little candy cane thing behind me. We're hungry. We need to go get something to eat, but see y'all later. Here we are, we are set up, ready for the show to begin. We've got somebody sitting on the job already. Mm -hmm. 
So the show was going pretty good. We sold a few so far. Just had a little bit of lunch and it rained on us a little bit and it's supposed to be raining all day today but we'll see how that goes. Uh, they're actually wrapping Christmas trees right there. Um, a couple of defenders right there. This guy's doing some wood turning. It's pretty cool. He's constantly working at it all day long. <clears throat> all right, so the show is over for today. Um, it lasted longer than I thought it would. Uh, so we started at nine, got here around 8.30 I think. I think, uh, and it's three o'clock now, so we did pretty good today. The rain was supposed to push us out around here, out of here at around lunch. So it held off a pretty good while, but the wind started picking up and the rain started getting just slightly bit heavier. So we all packed up and left, but we'll be here in the morning um, at about 10. Well, we'll be here in the morning around nine o'clock in the morning, but, um, but 10 is when the show starts and it goes from 10 to three and then we head home. But for now, I'm going back to the campsite, go walk around the park a little bit. Um, hopefully the rain holds off a little bit more and um, then I will probably explore the park a little bit. Um, and I haven't been there in a while, but Magnolia Springs, here I come. I'll see y'all later. Yeah. Here's my view, here's the back of the camper. Got the side camper, we got an awesome camper out there. Check that thing. Campside view. Well, good morning. It is day two of the show. And right now, I'm walking my little nephew. His name is Bo, otherwise known as Bo Cephas. But it's uh, day two, it's the morning time. And, um, I already ate breakfast, got ready and everything, and we're going to head out pretty shortly. I don't even know what time it is. What is it? Um, it's 8.45. We don't have to be there until... Wait, no, it ain't 8.45. 7.45. We don't have to be there until 9. Um, the show starts at 10. And uh, we're, right now we're just walking through the woods. Here we go. And when I drop off the trailer and come back to the tent, there's a few extra things I need to do. Obviously, I need to raise the tent back and uh, spread out the walking stick stands. It's, um, it, it, it doesn't take long at all. It might take like five minutes at most, maybe 10, maybe 10. That, that's pushing it though. So that's what happens when you try to do it without the GPS. I passed by the road and had to turn around. I'm following GPS until I get all the way there. Use GPS in the boonies, guys. Use GPS in the boonies, unless you've been here before. Which I was here yesterday, but that doesn't count. Pull it on up. And there's our tent right up front. It's the only one that's down because <laughs> I'm a little late because I got off target. But there it is. I'll set this up. I'll drop off some stuff real quick and I'll get back with you. All right. So we are parked now. It's perfect. Let's see if everything's good on the trailer. Still pretty good. No damage, meaning not gonna charge me. Sweet. Now let's head to the tent and set up. That is a monster of a dog. Uh, I feel he was about 175 pounds. Good lord. Yeah. Our 
my house for the weekend. Barely see it now. Had a great time with them. It was, uh, both my sisters came in, or two of my sisters showed up and helped this weekend. They didn't have to. And I'm loaded up um, and ready to ride home for about an hour and a half. The show is up that way and everybody else is packing up, but we were pretty efficient getting out of there fairly quickly. Um, but <clears throat> I'm rolling out and you'll see a couple of time lapses after this of just me driving down the road, but I'm getting home and I'll let you guys know when I get home. I forgot to show you. Come on. It's all packed up, nice and neat. I got most of my sticks up there at front, just bundled up and cushioned with a blanket. Got my other stand down there in the middle. Got my two smaller wooden stands there. My grill from last night, bigger stands. You know, tents in here, chairs are in here, tarps are in here, signs. Everything fits inside inside this little five by eight trailer perfectly. Eventually I get me a trailer of my own one day. And I like these double doors. I, I prefer these over the uh, over the ramp. This way, if you need to just get in there through one door, you're fine, you're set. But anyway, let me get on the road. I'm tired. So I just stopped at Millen a little bit, maybe been driving for 30 minutes, nothing crazy, but um, stopped at Millen, get some fuel, get a little snack. So I'm on the way to drop the trailer off. One of the little final things I need to do for this show. And uh, I offloaded everything this morning. Didn't have time to really report that. But, but needless to say, my garage is a mess. <laughs> All right, I am about to pull in to the rental place and drop it off. So let's see. And I'm just going to park right up front and then go inside. I don't want to block anybody in, obviously. But it was parked right back there. I'll be back there shortly, hopefully. I'll let him come look at it first. All right, so I'm going to go inside. I'll see y'all in a second. Well, let me crank up the truck first. Got it checked in and I'm gonna go park it. All right, got my hitch, got my four pin adapter. I don't want that to fly out. I don't even know how much they cost anymore. And I am heading home. Hey guys, so it's been about two months since the end of the show. Um, I don't know why I haven't recorded much of anything at all. It's just been real busy at work and whatnot. But the shop is almost back to where it needs to be so I can get back at it and keep working on a bunch of stuff. I got piles of walking sticks behind me that I got from my dry storage, you know, off the premises. It's actually on my dad's land and I go harvest there a lot and there's some dry storage I can just go store it up in. But anyway, um, here's a walking stick that's gonna be on a future video. It's a spotted walking stick. If any of you know what that is, you'll see it later. But if you don't know what it is, you'll see it later. But anyway, yeah, guys, that's it for this video. And I uh, hope you guys are having a great day. But anyway, you guys get out there, have fun, and keep sticking to it. Peace out.